Brian, this is Ken Kreitzer for CVSI Services and CVSI Talking Business, another episode of our podcast, talking with leaders in the field of banking, digital marketing, insurance, customer service, and business education, all to highlight our team. We're based in Paris and New York. We provide insurance back benefits to the credit card and payments industry, and we are celebrating our 50th anniversary, founded 19. 19- 72 by our Chief Executive Officer, Bob Conti. And today we have the pleasure of talking to our to Megan Delaney, who is our Director and Head of Partnership Management for CBSI from our Atlanta office. Megan, how are you today? I'm doing well, Ken. Thank you. How are you? Real good, real good. Now, uh, it's, it's been good to see the economy has been uh, doing well as far as sales and uh, uh, retail sales and also travel is picking up. Uh, uh, and uh, you're out there taking care of our clients and our customers. What, what do you see happening in, uh, in the travel and, and retail uh, industries? Well, Ken, to your point, it's up across the board. So travel is up in almost all areas. We see increased uh, flights. We see increased car rentals. We're even seeing the cruise industry coming back, scratching back slowly, as well as retail purchases. Uh, You know, this past holiday season and beyond, um, people are still continuing um, to to purchase goods and services. Absolutely. Uh, A very strong January in retail sales leveled off a little bit in February and March. So we're interested to see it go. But yeah, uh, the uh, consumer travel has been very strong. And cruises are picking uh, back up. We're waiting to see how business travel uh, changes. I mean, some of the uh, uh, trade organizations we work with, uh, such as the Independent Bankers Association, just had a meeting in, in Washington, and uh, and others are trying to uh, restart their in-person meetings. So it's it's good to see now. Megan, you and, and uh, our team are taking care of uh, our uh, bank customer, uh, customers and, and their customers uh, uh, on different uh, benefit programs that we provide. And uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, about how it's going. You know, the programs that have been kind of our, our, uh, our uh, main programs for years, purchase security and extended warranty are still very valuable to customers uh, when they make uh, purchases. What do, what do you see happening on that front? So, yeah, so purchase security is um, still enormously popular. Um, There are different types of incidents that would be considered eligible under the purchase security program, theft and damage, namely. And as uh, retail purchasing goes up, so too does the interest, awareness, and usage of the purchase security benefit. Um, Warranty is... um, continuing to stay strong, particularly with the um, pandemic, the residual effects there are that people were making those purchases for their home offices, and they're now coming into that time period where our coverage kicks in. So it extends the manufacturer's warranty by up to a year, and we're receiving um, customer inquiries on how to best resolve issues, mechanical, electronic failure, Um, But in addition to the home office, a lot of people were forced to stay home during the year 2020 and occasionally and sporadically on and off since. Uh, Home renovations picked up and that included uh, large appliance purchases. Um, It included uh, furnishings and anything that comes with a warranty would be considered uh, an item that would be uh, eligible under our warranty manager program. So we're now at the point where we're we're past the initial benefit inquiry hypothetical type of customer contacts. Well, what would happen? Should I use this card? And we're now actually starting to receive uh, some of the act, the claims from those types of purchases made over these past two years. Yeah, and what should a uh, cardholder, a customer uh, do to make sure that the account that they want to make a purchase on, you know, to buy a new laptop or, as you said, maybe a a new refrigerator, uh, what should they do to make sure that the card that they're going to make the purchase on has these purchase security extended warranty benefits? The best way is to call the number on the back of the card, 
which is their financial institution. Uh, there are so many varying card types and card portfolios that online might be a little misleading. So it definitely makes the most sense for you to reach out to your uh, financial institution who issues your card. They'll be able to assist and confirm whether or not you have these benefits, as well as if they follow the process, transfer to our units so that we can further assist and go over all of the terms and conditions and anything you may need in order to exercise the program. It's so important to have that extra bit of insurance coverage, that extra layer uh, when you're making purchases and, and, and things do tend to, to break, whether it's a laptop or a, or a home appliance. And uh, so very valuable coverage. Now we've got a couple of new uh, benefit programs that uh, our team has been working on. And the number one uh, is porch privacy, a uh, porch piracy. That's right. Uh, that uh, we will provide a benefit in case someone has their purchase stolen from their porch uh, after delivery. Uh, tell us a little bit about that, if you would. Sure. Okay. So, um, as I'm sure all of us have, have experienced, getting things delivered to your door is quicker, easier and at sometimes your only option. Um, so with that, uh, all of those purchases are usually left unattended. It, it, there isn't as, as common as it used to be um, process to sign for a package. So they're left unattended, they're left vulnerable, if you will. Uh, people are away from their home. I know that uh, certain mail carriers no longer even ring the doorbell. So I don't even know when a package shows up. So there has been a rash nationwide of um, porch thefts, which I'm, I'm guessing that most of, of the people who are, are stealing the items are just playing some kind of guessing game. They may not necessarily even know what's inside the package. Um, but if you um, have proof that the from, from the merchant, from the mail carrier, that it was actually delivered, you can give us a call and we would be able to assist uh, up to the reimbursement amount of the program um, for, for anything that's been stolen off of your front step or in an apartment building, for example, your hallway even. And it's such a valuable uh, program uh, for customers and, and our banks to consider offering to their uh, customers. Now, one of the areas that we have an uh, uh, important new product is uh, the ride share protection program uh, for in case uh, you're involved in an accident when you're in a, a ride share vehicle. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that program works and benefits uh, customers. Sure. So um, as with porch piracy, and I would say almost all of the benefits that we've ever created in our library, uh, they're, they're to adapt to ever-changing needs. There has been um, growth over the past decade uh, in ride shares where people are no longer defaulting to taxis or even public transportation, particularly nowadays if there's any kind of disinclination uh, to be in an enclosed subway or train even. So what we are offering is what's called ride share protection and that has an AD and D component as well as personal property coverage. And the personal property coverage would be not just in the event of an accident or an incident, but if um, you damage the item while you're within the ride share itself, or if you leave it behind. And the trigger there would be that um, we're promoting usage of a covered card to pay for the fare. Very good, very good. Now travel, as we said, is picking up. Uh... Uh, air travel, especially uh, for uh, consumers, and uh, and we see the cruise ship industry picking up. Um, one of the areas that's been a concern, I know uh, uh, it's maybe the first thing you got to take care of if you have to go on a trip, is is auto rental. And we've been provided an auto rental insurance benefit for for many years, one of our cornerstones. And uh, today, it's very valuable. Uh, but uh, tell us a little bit about what's happening in the auto rental business right now. So auto rentals are completely up across the board and for a multitude of reasons. Um, people are still reluctant to 
use air travel if it's a short distance, just because in the past six months, for example, there have been so many mass cancellations with weather, with staffing. Um, so we're, we're seeing that if it's a, it's a palatable driving distance, uh, people are opting for a rental car in lieu of potentially a common carrier travel. Um, we also see people who head straight to the rental counter in the airport if their flight gets canceled and they know that they would prefer to get home on that same day. Um, but in addition to the increased um, demand, so too is the increase in the prices. So if anyone has tried to purchase a car in the last year, you know sticker prices are way up. You know that <clears throat> cost to repairs are way up. There's delays in, in receiving the parts. So all of that folds into the um, necessity of having an auto rental program on your credit card. It, it saved, it, it, there are um, skyrocketing daily rates because demand is up and supply is down. They still have yet to replace their fleets completely from when they pared down quite significantly in 2020. Um, as I said, when it does have to be taken out of circulation, to be repaired. There are delays in time. Each day costs money for the rental agency. Those costs get passed through to the customer. So they're higher daily rates. They're longer um, given the time that they have to be taken out of fleet in order to repair because we're waiting on car parts. Um, so now more than ever, the, this benefit is, is a critical component in, in the average traveler's uh, wallet. Absolutely. It's, uh, it's really a sticker shock when you check the prices on auto rental today. And uh, one of the areas that CDSI has provided tremendous uh, benefit to customers is on air travel. Uh, and today, uh, as you mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. concerns what happens when a flight is canceled, uh, yes. the age-old lost luggage concern, and, uh, and uh, uh, what happens if you're on the, uh, on, in the middle of the trip and uh, there's a COVID situation and you're delayed. Tell us a little bit about some of the benefits that, that our customers are utilizing uh, to, to protect their, uh, their air flight trips. Uh, the short answer <clears throat> is all of them. <laughs> so we're seeing um, trip delays across all areas of, uh, it doesn't matter what region, it's not just weather specific. And the trip delay program, for example, will help offset costs you incur as a result of a delayed trip. If you have to spend the night in a hotel, if you have to get meals, if you need any other essential items that may, for example, be checked in, in your checked baggage. Um, so we're seeing a lot of uh, awareness and increased um, activity on that benefit. But to your point, we also have um, high incoming volume on things like the trip cancellation program, the trip interruption program, um, due to illnesses, due to ever-changing government requirements internationally. Um, we see a lot of pre-trip assistance inquiries now because those types of uh, regulations and requirements change on a daily basis. So we've got our travel and emergency assistance program that actually offers both pre-trip assistance as well as on-trip assistance. Um, lost luggage is still getting lost. <laughs> uh, bags are still getting delayed. And so, yeah, we are really witnessing um, not just in line with the increase in the common carrier travel, above and beyond that because now awareness is at an all-time high. We can thank uh, TikTok and Instagram, Associated Press, uh, different publications that talk about these benefits, um, as well as the issuers who are really proud to market these benefits. It, it generates interest from other customers. They, they call and say, do I have that? I did see that advertised. So, um, our inventory of, of benefits pretty much uh, could cover anything that can and does go wrong on a trip, in advance of a trip, or even after a trip. Absolutely. Now, I, I always say how proud I am of representing our team. Uh, we've got some great people who uh, handle calls, some of the exception situations that come up. Is there 
a situation in the last couple of months that stands out about how we're able to uh, help a customer? Well, if we, if you don't mind, let's go back to retail for a moment. We had to adapt to the fact that uh, the world was shut down and there, uh, so too were repair facilities. So we were not able to um, substantiate with customers or get them a resolution in the time period, meaning their item repaired. So what we did was we pivoted to a model that was more of a, a replacement model. We also made sure that we vetted a complete network um, domestically of areas people could go with contactless um, types of repairs, interactions. So that would mean your cell phone, your laptop, it, you could drive up curbside and, you know, uh, get your item repaired. You could sit and wait, you could come back. Um, but that's kept going. Uh, people have by and large now gotten accustomed to any kind of curbside and or mail-in um, services, whether that be uh, repair or, or replacement. And um, so we were able to, to pivot and adapt to uh, the, the more um, historical and traditional approach on the retail programs. Okay, very good. And uh... Megan, do you have a, a final thought for us uh, today? Uh, certainly, we're getting ready for the tra summer travel season and uh, a lot of retail spend uh, occurring. Uh, retailers trying to attract people back into stores. A final thought for us today? Sure. My, my recommendation would be to find what you already have in your wallet. If it's important to you, um, there is a, a wide array of cards that you'd be able to in advance of booking your summer travel at this point, um, apply, obtain, and leverage. And it's not just for the perks and the rewards points. This uh, wide array of benefits truly can save you money at the point of sale in the form of auto rental, collision damage waiver, that's a daily rate, um, purchasing uh, trip cancellation insurance, that usually runs about 7% of the total cost of the trip. So um, use the benefits wisely, see which ones you have. And um, if, you, if you think you, you would like more, there's definitely a lot of online tools and resources to find out which type of card would fit your needs. So important for customers to check what benefits are on their credit card. Uh, so when they make re important retail purchases or they're going on a trip, they can be protected in all the ways that, that you've described today. Megan, always a pleasure to talk with you. Megan Delaney, who is our Director and Head of Partnership Management at CBSI. Always great to talk with you. You as well, Ken. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Megan. And this is Ken Kreitzer for CBSI Services, CBSI Talking Business, and always proud to represent our company and our team. We're based in Harrison, New York, and we are celebrating our 50th anniversary. So thank you for watching and we'll see you with another episode very soon.